London, the divorce capital of the world. But that may be about to change. Government advisers have today recommended that prenuptial agreements, or prenups, popular amongst high net worth individuals, should be recognised in English law. Until 2008, courts refused to accept them. But since then, judges have given them more and more weight. The government's law commission says this now needs to be made official. A lot of people have said that they really think prenuptial agreements should be binding, and the only way that can be done is by Parliament making new law. So will this make any difference? Divorce cases worth millions of pounds are decided at the High Court every year. Will these proposals stop London being the divorce capital of the world? And is the city ready for such change? In Hatton Garden, London's jewellery quarter, ring buyers had mixed feelings. I don't think you're um, giving up trust to your partner by asking for, uh, for a prenup. I just disagree with them. You're either going to marry someone because you love them and you trust them and, or you don't get married at all. Leading family solicitor, June Venters QC, already advises clients on prenups. You're being very mechanical um, and unemotive by talking about splitting up and how you're going to deal with that before you've even entered into the sanctity of marriage. I can quite understand that, but I'm a lawyer and <laughs> ultimately um, we have to make sure that um, people's rights are protected in accordance with the law. Today's recommendation mean prenups could soon be a reality. But with many Londoners still wedded to romantic ideals of marriage, it's not clear whether they are ready to embrace them just yet. Adrian Bradley, City News.